Welcome back to the floor of the CME Group here in Chicago, Friday, March 25th. I'm Killer from Treasury Curve. Treasury Curve is an institutional money market portal. We assist firms in their overnight cash management. Let's look at these markets, folks. We're actually positive on the month. Is this the false sense of security? You tell me. Either get me at the Killer on my Twitter account or comment here on this video. But let's look at these various headwinds we continue to see. Portugal, that is escalating. Currently, Syria, there's violence in the square there. Thousands of protesters, there's heavy gunfire being reported, but that does not seem to be slowing down these markets. You know, oil back up around $1.06, you know, in the crude. So really some moving parts today, but let's, t let's drill down a little bit on this false sense of security. You know, I think uh, the Fed, they're joining in the facade here. You know, with these reverse repos they talked about on Wednesday and came into the market. Last week, they talked about the agency MBS selling. So so I think the Fed has to let everyone know that yes, you know, June 30th, we're done with QE2. The markets are sustaining. That is what they have to tell us continually. However, they are prepared and with their finger on the trigger at all times in the event, because if you see, when we got under that 100-day moving average last week in the S&P, whoa, QE3 came back on the table. So we're going to see how this all goes out today. But right now, maybe it's the end of the quarter and we're doing some window dressing, but I think there could be a little bit of a drop off here, some profit taking on this because it's really, really underlined the fact of the false sense of security by the lack of volume. You're not seeing the volume in the futures you typically do. Um, you know, let's drill down on these treasuries. We're seeing a slight bid, and I think that represents truly the Middle Eastern situation. That bid is reflecting the 30 year as well as the 10 year today, but I think it's all about oil. At $100, you know, $1.06, it gets a little, a little dis, uh, disheartening for the consumer. At $1.10, it's kind of a panic situation. So we'll see where oil goes today, but the S&P, you know, it got above that 50 day moving average I talked about. That was that ceiling, that cap at $12.98. As soon as we got above it, it moved a full percent. Almost a percent and a half above it. Currently, you know, the S&P is making, uh, sitting on the highs about 13, 14 here. So we'll see. It does it have some legs here, or is this just a short covering, kind of a facade window dressing at the end of the quarter? Euro currency, you know, the euro currency has been kind of a tough trade lately. You know, it's just, it doesn't have direction. It's still kind of waiting on this imminent rate decision. So we have a range of 140.92 up to 141.76. That weekly pivot is coming in at 140.47. So from the floor of the CME Group here in Chicago, I'm Killer. Remember one thing for the rest of the day, be the hammer, not the nail. Mm -hmm.